Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Budiner and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Budiner. Today I am going to be demonstrating some 15 inch fancy violas for Yun. Someone has just asked, said, you know, can we see some fancy 15 inch violas? Her daughter is becoming a really good violist and so needs better viola and we have better violas. So um, the first ones that I'm showing, J. Haider violas. Now this is a J. Haider um, 15 inch Magini viola, Magini style. Magini was a famous maker from over 300 years ago. And this has double purfling around the edges here. Two sets of those um, black lines around there. Purfling is an important thing. It protects the inside of the instrument. If you chip the outside, it's actually a thin piece of wood between those two black lines of ebony to prevent a chip from continuing on to the inside of the violin, uh, violin or viola or cello and affecting the, the sound. So good on purfling, purfling and good on Magini for on some of his instruments doing double purfling and good on Jay Hyder for um, making a Magini copy. So anyway, I will be playing this one first. So this is a Magini, and this is what I would call new old stock. New old stock, old new stock, it's one of those two. Um, this is a, a viola which was made in 2012, but has maybe sat in the Jay Hyder workshop for a long time after being made, and maybe has sat in our workshop for a while before we finally had it set up, so this is exciting. I stop them because I love the deep, rich, strong sound that they give. Um, they also are quite nice and light, which I think is really important with violas. Often people will be, you know, trying to upgrade to bigger violas because they want that sort of bigger sound, but then they can't carry it on their shoulder because it's massively heavy. You know, I think a viola being light is a really good thing. It sometimes means that you can actually go up to uh, a bigger size and still not end up a cripple because you're trying to play a giant enormous blob on your shoulder. This, you won't believe it, this is also a J. Haider Magini model viola. You might say this is exactly the same thing, but no, no, each piece of wood is different and each one sounds different. They're made to a certain quality, so they're both really wonderful instruments, but is a different thing. I have slightly different strings on this one. I had Eva Parazzi strings on that one, Eva Parazzi gold on this. I just choose what I think to be the best strings for the individual instrument. After setting them up, you know, we make all the parts and everything, and then I choose the strings. And um, this one does sound different, so let's have a listen. <laughs> that this one is very very slightly deeper slightly fuller sound and even slightly stronger I actually prefer this one and that's two violas which are exactly the same it might be hard to tell the difference on the microphone on the on your computer speakers but what I'll do at the end is I'll play each of these ones straight after each other without rambling on between them you'll get a better idea this next one is a viola in the same sort of price range of those. This is what is called a Struna Maestro Extra. An extra refers to the uh, Italian spruce on the front. This Italian spruce, if I was to buy that just to make an instrument, is a very big 
proportion of the cost of the instrument because it's very sought after. Um, it's old Italian spruce as well, and it's once again antique. So this is a, um, a Guarneri copy viola, so another copy of a famous antique instrument. But these have the Italian spruce tends to ring a lot. Let's have a bit of a, a play and a listen. I love these violas. I possibly would marry these violas. Not allowed to, but you know, if it was legal, possibly. Hmm. Um, it, it just has this sort of like lush, beautiful, deep, and more ringing sound, I would say. You can hear the notes sustain. So I'm, for Yun, you know, my opinion, I'm a big fan of the, the two last ones there, the J. Heider, um, with the with the gold strings, we'll call them Pratsy Pratsy Gold J Hyder, and the Struna Maestro Extra would be my two choices. So now what I'll do is I'll play all of them straight after one another, um, so that you do not have to listen to my rambling between each one. Let's have a bit of a try. that are all antiqued, that look beautiful and sound beautiful, I recommend buying all of them. Thanks for watching.